Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you're here today. And today I want to show you how I unwind with watercolor. So some tips and tricks and different painting techniques with that. So I'm also going to show you some different things that I love to do as an artist to spark my creativity and what gives me ideas of what I want to draw next. I was feeling a little bit uninspired during this time. So this was probably the perfect time to make a video like this. I hope this can help you if you feel like you need to unplug, if you're stressed out, one on one at the end of the day, or if you're feeling uninspired as well. One of my favorite ways to unwind in my sketchbook is by painting florals in this loose style with really what you would call a leaf shape, but for petals. So I started using this technique, if you would like to call it that, when I had some test prints for a floral print collection about a year ago. I found it really relaxing to paint over the prints that didn't turn out well, and I didn't really wanna waste them and throw them away, so I was trying to figure out what I could do with these prints. So I painted over the misprinted peonies with repetitive petal strokes and in a similar but bolder color. So today I was feeling blue and yellow and I wanted to go for a two page spread just by practicing that stroke of the same stroke you'd make for a leaf but also incorporating these two complementary colors together in a cascading way and then it's ending at the bottom of my page. So I love playing around with this buttery consistency of paint lately. It's so thick and beautiful. I just love the pigment. So I made sure I had very little water while I was painting these. And I love how the blues vary too, which was accidental, but um, mid floral stroke, I got another creative idea for another project I'm working on. And so I was very happy that these two shades of blue made their way into my yellow floral infused page which goes to show that if you feel like you are uninspired sometimes you just need to quiet your mind and have that blank space just paint something random paint a bunch of strokes and a lot of times in that movement it's when you spark a new idea which is so cool and i find it so helpful and it just goes to show that we need rest in our lives to be able to be creative you can't just keep going forever you need to have quiet time and space so this honestly could be such a cool pattern too now looking at it once it's done i love the pops of color love how they're complementary colors sometimes to make colors that go together i'll go and look at my color wheel and i just test it out i just try out new color combinations and then i go and see what's next Another way that I gather inspiration is looking through books or images. When I'm creating a lot of commissions, most of them are based off of photos. So I like to study pictures to kind of find the accuracy and the details in them. And honestly, working on things like this just helps my craft more so that when I do have a commission, I feel like I've been doing my drawing exercises to be able to perform in the way I need to. And I paint florals and fashion illustrations, so I have this amazing rose book that I thrifted and I love the photos in it. There are so many detailed close-up photos of roses. I've done a lot of studies in this and I plan to do a bunch more because there's so many kinds of roses I have not painted yet or have just wanted to explore different colors. And there's really no roses around outside and it's currently winter, so I do not have any real life roses to base my drawings off of and then for fashion I'll usually bookmark styled photos that I find on Instagram and just keep this creative library so when I feel like I don't know what to draw I go and look through it and then I get an idea or I draw something straight from a photograph just for practice. So yeah this week has I feel a little bit more tired than usual um but I, I just 
did what I was telling you. I pulled up on my Instagram, I pulled up the little folder I have bookmarked, and I actually pulled up this photo right here, and I just drew it in my sketchbook, and the feeling of just painting watercolor on paper was just so nice, and I really just loved what I made after. for you for today. I hope you love this video. I hope you found some helpful tips that you can use whether you're just starting out drawing or creating art or you are have been an artist for years. I just hope that you can find this information useful and that you feel inspired too and want to go out there and create some more art. Get your art into the world. I'll see you guys next time. Please comment below if you have any other video ideas and if you want to see more of my videos please like and subscribe see you next time